Got a little bit of an update regarding the RTX 50 series laptops. Nvidia suffering the biggest loss in history as far as the stock market goes. It was kind of expected with how quickly it went up. This right here, I just thought was really cool. It's an external GPU adapter for only $100. I'm going to end up grabbing one of these and testing it out on the new Asus Rogue Alley, which we are going to be covering here in a moment. But this right here is a cool little handheld that I wanted to share with you for those of you that are interested in the emulation scene. This right here, the alleged AMD Ryzen 9 9950X, 16 cores and 5 CPU, ended up getting a benchmark that I wanted to share with you. We have an update regarding the Intel Arc gpus and then this right here is the new asus rogue alley x eta prime ended up getting his hands on one early and gave his initial thoughts so i wanted to share that and just cover that with you but if you would like to go and watch his full 10 minute video dedicated to that then you can feel free to do so but i'm not going to cover that one thing for 10 minutes for reasons i doubt you need me to explain so the first thing that we're going to be covering here is nvidia releasing their new laptops in 2025 real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below so there's three little portions that we need to cover here the first one is nvidia's upcoming rtx 50 series laptops are going to feature variants with 16 gigabytes 12 gigabytes and then 8 gigabytes of gddr7 memory which is going to be catering to different groups of people. And then the second part is the RTX 50 series is going to be set to launch in 2025 with the flagship RTX 5090 and the dual fan cooling system with compact design, whatever, That's that doesn't make no sense. So Nvidia's commitment to AI technology and innovation is going to fuel the position as a key player in gaming, especially when it comes, oh, I'm not paying to read the rest of that. But either way, that's a quick little summary of that article right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. I do think that NVIDIA is going to offer some sort of new feature when, when it comes down to AI because and their laptops specifically because just for the performance aspect of it, I think that they're going to figure out some sort of a way in order to make the laptop just perform better. So as far as NVIDIA suffering the biggest loss in world history after a $646 billion dollar bloodbath quote unquote this is a concern the ai and microchip company has lost 13 percent in valuation in the past three days this was just expected to happen dude you don't get a you don't get a boom in the stock market like that without a crash afterwards it's going to go back up it's just how it is the reason it went down is is probably because some influencer with a hundred thousand followers started a bunch of drama i promise you the stock market followers or the stock market creators that you're following on YouTube. Look, just being honest, can't confirm this because I am not them. But I'm I don't have filters over my hole in my head. So I'm just going to say it as it is. Those creators making videos on the stock market pretty much whatever every day or two. Bro, do you really think they're making money in the stock market and creating YouTube videos on it? Or do you think they're kind of making maybe a little bit of teeny weeny tiny bit of money in the stock market and starting a bunch of drama on the internet for other people to share so that they can increase their revenue in the stock market even though they're like they're probably losing until they make that video and then they're selling you some stupid course which is where they're making their money. I'm just being real with you bro. How many times have you ever like watched some finance guru on YouTube where they didn't give you one big sales pitch? You spend whatever they have like a 20 minute video guiding you through something and then it's like, oh, the most important parts here, if you want to finish this, buy my course or they just leave you hanging and you're like all confused and lost and you go to try to implement whatever they tell you and you can't implement it because they didn't finish telling you what you needed to know because <laughs> you didn't buy their course. But anyways, let's continue here. So really, this is just what I it, it was expected to happen. It really was just it's going to go back up. That's just how the stock market works. I, I personally ended up selling off all of my Nvidia stock, like probably I regret it because I, because I watched it climb the entire way, but, uh, 
I uh, I sold off probably about halfway up the bull run. I don't, I don't, I was actually, I was, I don't really, I'm not into the stock market. I don't really like it's because that's a whole nother game. I, that's how I see it at least. I see it as another game. You know, I see money as a game. I see business. I see everything as a video game, dude. I'm a gamer. There's a reason I always put gameplay footage. There's a reason I like PC. There's a reason I do and make the content that I make. I just, just what I like to do. So I just, if you can treat life as a video game, it's pretty easy to understand life. So I was just bound to happen. So the next thing is just minis forum launching their 900 or er, yeah. Their $99 external GPU dock, and this does support an RTX 4090. And the reason I'm interested in this is because, first of all, the G GeForce RTX 50 laptops, like the RTX 4060 laptops, are already competing with the R RTX 40 or er, RTX 3080 laptops that we had in the past. Now, I'm not saying that your whatever your 4060 is going to be better than a, a laptop with an RTX. 3080 but i'm saying that it's it's competing with that which is pretty mind-blowing and the reason they're competing with that is just the way like you look at the rtx 2080 when the rtx 2080 first come out you know what i mean it wasn't very good it was unfortunately that was the first computer i built too which really sucks because i paid a lot of money for that uh but anyways the, th the next thing I wanted to cover is just a handheld. I r I'm really into the emulation scene and this reminds literally reminds me of a Steam Deck. This looks like a more comfortable like Steam Deck mini. That's what it looks like because it, it but it, the only problem with this one is that it doesn't have a little touchpad. It is smaller. But I mean, it's a little budget. It's a little budget fella. So this one right here is six inch 1080p 60 hertz display. The APU is an Athlon 3050E, two core, four thread, Zen and RX Vega 3. There's eight gigabytes of RAM, 258 or 256 gigabytes SSD, and then the Xenix Pro. All this stuff, except it has an AMD Ryzen 7 6800U, and then the prices are not even here but either way they're gonna the first one at least is gonna be a budget i'm not sure how much this one's gonna be i'm probably gonna say like 300 bucks maybe is is where this one will be aimed at this one right here is probably gonna be like 150 dollars. this one's if that it's probably gonna be like whatever 100 bucks maybe even but either way we're gonna move on here so we're gonna go down to the benchmarks because i know that's what you guys are interested in but if you do want to read this there you go again if you're on phone one you can zoom in take your fingers pinch it and two, click the little settings icon and make sure that your phone isn't running the video at 360p. And then when you zoom in, it won't be blurry. Um, I really, I'm, I can't wait for them to add that, like as far into the computer side of stuff. So these are the benchmarks, the ADA 64 benchmarks higher, obviously is better. That's, in, that's an insane difference. Dang, holy moly. That's a big difference in, uh, so finished with errors. It, to really webcam hold up there you go close that out now but that's that and then this right here just a new intel arc i'm really rooting for intel man i really am um the intel arc i'm just going to show you guys what, what was the known issues here I and mean, I'll, I'll slowly it's not a long article anyway uh but i'm really I really am. I'm rooting for Intel, man, and their Battle Mage GPUs because just being real with you, okay? I'm not trying to like start a war here. Actually, you know, what? I'm not even gonna say it because I don't because it, it does. It's, it's gonna happen, and I don't feel like needing to explain myself for another five minutes to avoid the war. All right, so I'm hoping they uh, are able to compete with nvidia because i know if i say something bad about nvidia nobody's gonna care so that's right here eta prime he just made a video going over the steam deck rogue alley x but the reason i'm interested in this thing is because uh the this uh where is it right here i want to grab one of these and test it out on a laptop and on a um like either obviously i knew this is going to run into a bottleneck i'm fully aware of that and then and then it's not even 4k so you're gonna have to adapt or like connect it to a tv or something and then the same thing with this thing obviously the processor in this is it's gonna bottleneck i get that but it's still cool so yeah i mean overall dude cool stuff technologies booming and then the nvidia so 
I'm not going to talk for the next 20 minutes because that's not what people like on YouTube, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and end that now that I covered everything. Peace.